Welcome to Techrix Info, the engineering tutorial hub. Let's see the difference between a CRDA system and a normal fuel system with the help of uh, this particular animation over here. So, in a normal fuel system, the components are a fuel tank and a primary filter of 30 micron and a mechanical uh, fuel lift pump, a secondary fuel filter of 5 micron and a fuel pump. From the fuel pump, uh, the connections you can see the high pressure line are getting connected directly towards uh, each of these injectors you can see it is directly getting connected and we have this return line from the injectors and return line from the fuel pump also that's a normal fuel system but uh, let's see a crda system in a crda system the difference is that the primary filter is actually of 5 microns uh, initially you can see the uh, normal fuel system it is of 30 micron here it is of 5 micron and here we have a mechanical fuel lift pump in a normal fuel system but in a CRDI system we have a electric fuel lift pump actually over there okay now let's see in a normal fuel system we have a secondary fuel uh, filter of 5 micron rating but in a CRDA system it is of 2 microns okay then uh, we have a fuel pump yeah in a uh, CRDA system also we have a, a fuel pump but in the CRDA system the fuel pump connection is connected towards a common rail which is of a pressure of 1200 bars so we have a common rail system over here and from the common rail system the connection is going to independent injectors and the supply of these uh, injectors depend upon the control of the electronic control unit that means the ECU uh, the electronic control unit actually uh, gives the signal to the injectors and the common rail system when to inject and how much fuel uh, to be injected but in a uh, normal system you can see from the fuel pump the connection is uh, independent or separate connection is directly going towards the inject injectors through the high pressure line so there is no common rail connecting them in normal uh, system the uh, fuel pollution uh, will be more the exhaust the pollution will be more but in a crda system the uh, pollution will get much uh, reduced because the NOx and other uh, emission emission will be reduced so to satisfy the bs4 norms the crda system is required so you can see the difference between the block diagram of a normal fuel system and a crda system very clearly uh, in this animation uh, so i believe we got a basic idea about the normal fuel system and uh, the common rail direct injection system which are used in a uh, diesel uh, powered automobiles so thank you for more engineering tutorial video updates please click the subscribe button on top of this video if you have find this tutorial useful please click the like button or drop a comment to motivate us we are also available on Facebook thanks for watching this video